So the other day in Bed Wars, this happened. Go oh. on! Woo! I can't say anything, but we won! Now, after that happened, I mean, I was just absolutely lucky that I won. It was too close for call there. I realized that I needed, like, a, a PvP texture pack or something, you know, something that had, like, low fire and other stuff. Uh, but I couldn't find one that I, uh, that I, uh, that I just liked, you know? None of them actually stuck with me. So I did what any, uh, normal, logical person would do, and I spent eight hours making my own. And that's how I spent my Friday, so, uh, my, that's, uh, that's the status of my current social life. Either way, uh, this, this, uh, this pack actually turned out really well, and I'm gonna be releasing it, um, it actually should be in the description below. Um, I'm gonna be releasing two versions, more on that later. Right off the bat, you, uh, you might notice I'm actually on a Bed Wars map that I've just modified a little bit to kind of be able to showcase some things. Immediately you'll notice this is not a wooden chest. What is this? An iron chest, and it's awesome. Also, the ender chest has been uh, beefed up a little bit, you know, made it look nice, have some, have some high-res textures there. Speaking of uh, high-res textures, all the blocks are using Faithful, so it's very, very similar looking to, you know, the vanilla feel. Most importantly, this pack has a lot, and I do mean a lot of things, that uh, well, it could specifically help in Bed Wars. So I'm sure you'll immediately notice it's really easy to tell when something's enchanted. This would be the diamond armor, but it's red. So I really wanted to, to change it up a little bit. I got tired of seeing that stupid teal on the enemy. But I understand that can be confusing because I've also changed a lot of other things. In fact, I changed all the diamond stuff uh, to be red. So because of that, I'm also releasing a second version of the pack that does not uh, change any of the diamond stuff. It keeps it the uh, original color and stuff like that. Now, before I show you guys anything else, most importantly, this bow. Oh my gosh, this bow. It changes colors depending on its status. But red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. It's so crazy. This bow is like my favorite thing from the entire pack. It's, it's amazing. Now, since I made this pack with Bed Wars specifically in mind, I did a couple of things. Obviously, if Bed Wars was in mind, I had to modify the bed. I made it really high contrasting colors and uh, really bright and modified it a lot. And you can literally, it's not an exaggeration to say, you can see it from across the map. Look at that. I just barely zoom in at all with, it's just normal Optifine zoom and you can easily see it from across the map. So not only that, but also it stops, uh, not really a bug, it's just an annoying thing where if you're on the red team, you can just cover your bed, like the base part of it, with massive amounts of red wool to the point where it's just a maze and then it's actually kind of hard to see it even if you break, you know, the right block. So it eliminates that bug too since it's two high contrast colors right next to each other. Now, other than the bed, you might notice my selector bar here is really, really bright and really, really highlighted and it's really easy to see right where it is at all times. It should also be worth noting that the little sneak and sprint thing on the side is that's from a separate mod that doesn't come with the texture pack. Just thought I should point that out. A lot of these textures are a little bit higher, especially on the items and stuff like this. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of different stuff here. Now, the swords are all kind of the same shape. And again, this is the diamond sword, but uh, you can download either the red pack, which I really I really like the red pack personally, or you can download the, the you know the vanilla diamond look. Uh, the only one that doesn't have that same shape is going to be this sword right here. This is the stone sword. I just thought this looked really cool. It had like a barbarian type of look to it, you know, it just, it, and I use a stone sword a lot, so I figured, you know, might as well mix it up, get a good looking one. The only other, uh, the only other one that's really out of the ordinary here, other than the red, is going to be the wooden pickaxe, since everyone seems to get stuck with the old wooden pickaxe forever, so it's got a nice, like, dark, you know, texture. The high textures also includes all of these. And yet again, that's the, uh, that's the red diamond slash ruby. And on top of that, I don't know why, but I just... I saw this somewhere as a texture for just the normal book, and it looks so cool, I just threw it in there. I don't, it doesn't really do anything. I, I think you, like, maybe get a book somewhere in the lobby for Hypixel. Doesn't matter, it was just kind of cool. So, that's how I spent my Friday afternoon, was just making a, making a texture pack for, like, eight hours. I'm sure you can tell my social life is definitely popping. So, again, the, uh, the link to that texture pack will be right down there in the description. Be sure to give it a download and check it out, and it could definitely, actually, help you a little bit in Bed Wars. It's meant to be a PvP pack. And before we head off, of course, I have to test it. <laughs> Let's see how low the fire is. Oh, that's that's it? You can barely even see it. It's not even just because I'm in creative mode. If I go in game mode one, see, or zero, whatever it is. Yeah, that's, that's as high as it gets. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. Uh... Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope... <clears throat>
Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the, uh, the texture pack if you do decide to give it a download. Have a wonderful day, and peace.